published and uh, spread widely on our uh, website called adventurelearninglive.com. <coughs> well, tonight, what's next? It's a good question, what's next? Well, I feel I'd like to probably start with looking at intuition. Have any of you looked at what is intuition? Now, for those of you who've done the Esoteric Mastery course, we often look at intuition on around about the third or fourth session. When we look at intuition, we say that um, a lot of people confuse intuition with instinct. They feel that instinct, well, works uh, in a situation where usually your life is in danger. So if something, a car turns up, at the last minute you avoid it by suddenly becoming aware that something is threatening and then you look and you see this car coming and you step back or you don't um, accelerate with your car, you avoid that or you're driving around a bend and something prompts you to brake before you get around the bend and when you get around the bend there's, a, there's an accident or whatever. Now it's also said that there's the instinct for survival uh, that often people confuse with intuition which is for example, it's said that if a mother gives birth somewhere remote where there's no access to a doctor or clinic or a midwife, she will instinctively bite off the umbilical cord herself. She knows how to go about the business of helping that little baby survive. So generally, the confusion with intuition comes that people confuse it with this, this instinct for survival. Intuition is far more subtle. Some people say, well, it's just something I know, or uh, <coughs> it was my intuition that led me there. See, the clarity of it is intuition is a far more active energy. It's not